few different reasons why you would want to prune. So the first one obviously is it's, you know, it's crowding other plants or it's exiting your garden um, or you just, you know, kind of want to bonsai it up and shape your plant a certain way. It might hit the lights, um, which you could think of as a cosmetic issue, but it's also going to hurt your plants. Um, so in your light shelf, uh, you have this sort of like design where, you know, uh, the LEDs are sort of inset. And so this plastic frame up here protects your, your leaves from initially touching. Um, but after a while, they'll, they'll be able to get close enough to the LEDs to get burnt. This is a single tomato plant right here. Basically this half of my garden is a tomato plant. Um, and this half is a, uh, celery plant. Um, so as you can see, plants get pretty big and pretty wide. And so a lot of these plants um, will sort of grow into each other. Um, and because of the nature of this hydroponic system, um, the biggest limiting factor to growth is always hands down going to be light. You wanna make sure that you have sharp scissors. Um, so I'm going to demonstrate um, right now I'm gonna clip off a little tomato plant right here. There's multiple ways of cutting a plant um, and you never wanna use your hands. Um, the reason why is uh, you can kinda, you know, you can make sense. Um, when you use your hands, it rips the plant and creates a huge surface area. And when you cut off a part of a plant, it, it starts healing itself. And if you think about a rip versus a cut, it's just gonna take so much longer for that plant to um, form like its little scab and sort of recover. But basically whenever you have a stem coming off uh, of another stem, you just wanna cut it as close as possible um, to the base of that stem so that you don't have like excess stem left on your plant because that stem, while it does, it is green so it has, you know, photosynthesis cells in it and all that fun stuff. Um, it doesn't have leaves, which are kind of the, the, the main uh, organ uh, that are actually gonna help your plant grow and live. So when you leave extra stem, you really just kind of shortchange your plant and now it has this like weird stick that it can't really do anything with and it keeps sending nutrients and then they don't go anywhere and do anything. Um, so always try and clip as close as you can to the base of your stems. There's an 80-20 rule. So you always wanna try and keep 80% of your plant um, and you can prune up to 20% at a time. Every once in a while, you will also have um, just like dead leaves and stuff. Um, plants will naturally die off. Some parts of it will die while other parts are getting more nutrients. Um, and a big tip is to um, prune those plants before uh, too much of nutrients is lost by sending it to them. Thanks so much, Angelo. Of course, you guys, if you have other questions, Angelo, you know, he participates in support calls and emails. So get us over an email at support at risegardens.com. Um, and, you know, we'll troubleshoot one-on-one. -on -one. All right. Thanks all. Yeah. Thank you.